Hello again, everybody. Uh, this is Mr. Taylor uh, looking at Unit 5 and the algebraic um, concept to these um, isometries. Um, here, let's take a look at uh, the algebraic representation for reflection. This is 12.4 uh, example 2 inside of the uh, textbook. Your learning objective is similar to uh, the last video. Here you will find uh, the vertices after a reflection. Then you're going to graph these uh, reflection and uh, graph the reflection and its image. Um, we should be very familiar with the vocabulary that comes with transformation, so there will be no new new vocabulary introduced in this particular video. Well, the author says the signs of the coordinates of a figure changes when the figure is reflected across the x-axis and the y-axis. So this table below shows us the rules for changing the signs of the coordinates after reflection. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have these rules, have them inside of our notes, and understand. Uh, if you're going to multiply across the x-axis, or actually if you're going to reflect, I'm using, getting a little ahead of myself, if you're going to reflect across the x-axis, you simply multiply the y-coordinates by negative 1, whatever it is, or you change the sign. And I think sometimes we may, we may get this part confused, so let me just take a second here so you can understand what I mean and not necessarily saying that we're going to make y negative or whatever. So here, this could easily be 2 comma negative 6. So what they're saying here is uh, you multiply y, so in order to get the prime, so you leave x is 2, and then it says multiply y by negative 1, so that'll be uh, comma, six times, I'll make that a negative six, times a negative one. So that's going to give us the ordered pair of two comma six. So it don't necessarily mean that we're changing it to a negative. What they're saying is you make sure you multiply whatever the sign is by negative one or, or change whatever the sign is. And we, we want to do the same thing with y. So just make sure you understand that as we go forward. Okay, so here's the example that they want us to study before we go to work. It says rectangle RSTU has vertices negative um, 4 comma negative 1, S negative 1 comma negative 1, T negative 1 comma negative 3, and U negative 4 comma negative 3. So it asks us to find the vertices of R prime, S prime, T prime, and U prime after a reflection across the y-axis. So what do the rules tell us if we're reflecting across the y-axis? It says if you're going across the y-axis, then you multiply the x-coordinates, or you change the signs of the x-coordinates. Okay, so let's go back and see exactly what they did. So we have the rule of negative 1 times x. So you have a negative 4 times a negative 1 is going to give you a positive 4. Do nothing to y. It remains a negative 1. So for s, to get s prime, you multiply, which is a negative 1, multiply negative 1 times a negative 1, and you'll get a positive 1. We're saying that because we should know at this point that a negative times a negative gives us a positive. You do nothing to y. So s prime uh, ordered pair is 1 comma negative 1. For t, which is a negative 1 comma negative 3, you again multiply negative 1 times a negative 1, uh, which is the x uh, coordinate, and you will get a positive 1, so t prime becomes 1 comma negative 3. Uh, you do nothing at all to the y, and then you, you have a negative 4 comma negative 3, so again negative 4 is the 
is the x is the x uh, value or the x location. So you would multiply negative one times a negative four, uh, which is one times one is four. Negative times a negative is a positive. So that'll be four minus a negative th minus. I'm sorry, four negative three. You do nothing at all to the y value. You leave it just the way it is. Okay. Then after you've done so, then you take your uh, your coordinates for your pre-image and graph them connect and your coordinates for your uh, image uh, graph those and connect and you get a, a graph that looks like that okay blue would be your image and as you notice look at what happened to R R comes and I'm gonna just just put a little emphasis here R because it is a mirror-like image comes around to here, S to here, U over here, and T here. They are still congruent. Nothing about the, the, the actual orientation changed. Nothing at all. Uh, they're, they're, they're congruent. And uh, you, the only thing you did was flip them over from the Y axis. We know we did it right. Because if we look at x, x is one unit, so it should be one unit here. T is one unit, so it should be one unit here. R is one, two, three, four, so it should be one, two, three, four here. U is again four, and it should be four here. So we know we did it right if we look at the distances in our uh, pre image and our image. Okay, let's move on. So it tells us here, for example, too, that I want you to stop the video and work. Uh, you have triangle ABC, and it has the following vertices: uh, A negative two comma six, B zero comma five. I mean zero comma five, yes, and C three comma negative one. It asks us to find the vertices of A prime, B prime, and C prime out the reflection across. The x-axis. So if we go in x, we should know what we're going to do with y or whether we're going to do something with x. Okay. So go ahead and stop it, work that, and then come back. All right. So here's what we done. So we have uh, what we did, but notice what we're trying to do. The rules say if we're going across x, we just need to multiply y by whatever its particular value is by negative one or change the signs and here you leave x the way it is so let's see can we uh, analyze this see, let you can see how it works live so I have a and a is uh, that looks like a negative two we're gonna leave it alone and then we're gonna multiply a negative one times six okay then let's take a look at B B we have zero we're gonna leave it alone and then we're gonna multiply a negative one times five then we have C and C is three comma and then we're gonna multiply a negative one times a negative one okay so doing this these will give us our uh, image and here we should have whatever we come up with should be a prime the here we should come up with B prime and then here we should come up with C prime alright so if we're gonna leave X alone so negative 2 stays the way it is let's go down to B 0 stays the way it is and at C, three stays the way it is. So now we have one times six is six, and a negative times a positive is a negative. So my new location here is negative two, negative six. Okay, good, that's what we got. And we go to the next one, and then of course we have, uh, what is that, five? So that'll be, a negative one times five will give me, and that's times, not that's time, and not one point five. 
So then that'll be a negative 1 times 5, and that's going to give me 1 times 5 is 5, and a negative times a positive is, of course, a negative. So my B prime is 0, comma, negative 5. And then C, uh, we have 3. We're going to leave it alone. X is not going to be bothered. And then we would have a negative 1 times a negative 1. Of course, 1 times 1 is 1. And then a negative times a negative gives us a positive. So C carries the order of the pair of 3, comma, 1. Okay? Only thing is left, and you notice I left a blank page for the graph. Uh, we'll, let you, we'll let you do that. So really, really, really easy. Uh, just understanding what the actual rules back here say, and uh, I think you'll be fine. All right. We'll see you next time.